Are you a content creator? Just got the MetaQuest Pro or looking into getting the MetaQuest Pro to cast or record yourself inside mixed reality on platform like YouTube, TikTok or Instagram, but quickly find out you cannot? Nani? All you get is an avatar and a black background. What the duck? Don't worry. MetaQuest Pro actually has a built-in wireless recording that allows you to capture 16 by 9 aspect ratio in 4K 60 frames per second in 40 megabit per second super high quality and it will capture both virtual reality and mixed reality without the black background. It can even cast your gameplay on your mobile phone without Oculus Link cable wirelessly in a very, very far distance as you see right here. This in-depth tutorial will help you set it all up step by step so you can finally get your MR streaming income rolling, pay for that expensive MetaQuest Pro and make it work for you. Let's dive into the metaverse now. Hey, what's up everybody? This is gonna be a quick one. Today I'm gonna teach you how to record your gameplay video, your mixed reality experience inside the MetaQuest Pro right here. So, so far, if you don't do this process, don't follow this tutorial, you realize that when you do a screen capture, share on the screen capture, right, uh, of the video, everything mixed reality is black because of privacy reason. So if you are, a YouTuber, uh, you do gameplay video of your MetaQuest Pro Max reality experience, uh, or you want to just capture like your interaction with your friends in the mixed reality world for TikTok, for Instagram, for YouTube, all you get is black. And this video will teach you how to solve that to enable the capture mode so you can screen capture here without seeing black. So far, you can definitely use SideQuest and connect that with a cable in the computer, open SideQuest, and capture that way. The problem with SideQuest is why not it's not officially support the Quest Pro. So you see the capture is really zoomed in, the FOV is off, the cropping is off, and they never level. They're like 45 degree tilted. So literally any, any YouTuber you see, like they try to capture their first impression of the MetaQuest Pro, and you see their mixed reality experience. It's all zoom in, pixelated, and, and slammed it. 75 degrees, really weird. And that is actually not really the camera see. It's better than that. It's, it's not great, but even better than a lot of the review video you saw. And they actually teach you how to capture that properly. First, go ahead and go to Oculus to apply for a developer account. It's free. I'll keep the link down below and just follow the instruction. It's very easy. It's free. And if you're a content creator, you want to cast your gameplay from the Quest Pro from anything uh, using SideQuest, you require that anyway. So I assume that you did that step already. And then step two is to connect. Go ahead using your phone. So go on your MetaQuest app right here, MetaQuest, and then I'm already on it. And then go ahead and go to devices and go ahead and search and find my MetaQuest Pro right here and make sure under developer mode right here and turn it on. So when you, you apply the developer account, you have that mode on, on your account and make sure that's turn it on. That's all you need to do. And now you are ready to do the next step. The next step you need to do is to go on your PC or your Mac, just basically need a computer. So uh, OBS is what I use to do screen capture and any professional streamer will tell you that that's a software they use. It's free, again, it's free. And you're gonna use this to capture the gameplay from your computer uh, and everything else. So uh, this is not OBS tutorial, but again, there's a ton of tutorial resources out there to teach you how to use OBS. So now the next step is go on the link down below to download the MetaQuest Developer Hub 3.0 and above. So when you're on this website, make sure to see the version drop down. You are above 3.0. Uh, while at the time of recording, 3.01 is already released. So I gotta go ahead and download the latest version. Uh, I'm on Windows, but you can, they also have a link for Mac and for any system or Linux as well. So I'll go ahead and download the Windows version right here. 
Go ahead and hit I read and agree the term and go ahead and download. So if for any reason the installation kind of stop, make sure you right click and run as administrator. So you keep the app uh, administrator account set up. So it will install the coding correctly for you. Now go ahead and hit finish. It should run the MetaQuest Pro Developer C. It worked now. So let's go through some initial process. Go ahead and just hit continue. You need to log into your Meta account, basically your Facebook account or your Meta account that connect to your MetaQuest. So there, there this warning right here. Make sure you go ahead and change the path. Right there, it's already in the same path. So okay, cancel it. So great, now we have the app to make this happen. But the next step is make sure that your developer app is communicate with the brand new MetaQuest Pro. So go ahead and go to Device Manager and say set up new device. And then read this instruction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hit next. And now you see that it's allow you as long as you're above 3.0, you will see the new option MetaQuest Pro. Go ahead and hit that. And then find my MetaQuest Pro right there. Great. So go ahead and hit next. Go ahead and connect to your local Wi-Fi. And by the way, uh, the other reason why as a content creator, why you want to get the MetaQuest Pro, again, okay, not selling you this headset, and just why I choose this headset is because it allows you to record the highest resolution, casting in the highest resolution as well inside the headset directly, which is very important. You can't really do that. You need to do a side quest hack on Quest, uh, quest 2, uh, not on Quest Pro. It allows you to do 60 megabit per second in 4K in 60 frames per second recording. So give you a really nice gameplay without the tethering cable, which is very important. So now my developer account is verified, great. Let's go ahead and hit yes. Let's go ahead and enable that developer mode. Go ahead and hit next. Now you allow, you ask you to connect your headset to the computer. So go ahead, now let me show you how to do that. So next step is make sure that you have a USB-C cable. I have a very long one for my Oculus Link. Oh, Oculus Link. So go ahead and connect right here, the USB-C cables right here. Go ahead and connect that. It should show up. See, as you divide, detect it, as you to authorize it, so go ahead and grab your controller, put your headset on. And this step, I'm gonna take my head off. Okay. So, Go ahead and hit allow. So whatever it asks you, go ahead and hit allow, it's fine. So ask you again, go ahead and allow. So right now, immediately you see the MetaQuest Pro show up on my screen. Hopefully you see that right now. Let me just put my headset down right here. So, great. So, let me just show you right now. If you go ahead and hit cast, that's exactly what you need right here, boom with the cable tethering right here. Connect, go ahead and hit allow access. Boom, hopefully you see my screen. You see the mixed reality cam through in a very high resolution, like very high resolution inside the MetaQuest Pro right here. See my camera, my lighting, uh, see my phone right here. See, it's really clean. I mean, it still have this little wobbling, but the capture is actually pretty clean, better than most of the stuff you saw on the, on the internet. So, I mean, the, the pass is bad, but it's not that bad as all people show you. If you see, you can kind of see the test as well. You see my computer screen easily. It's just a little bit like uh, turning. So yeah, so now it's working, but then we have another problem right now, right? Uh, we are tethering the cable and you don't want that. You want to have the freedom to move around in the world, in the six dot environment, and also capture the mixed reality with people coming in, coming out, uh, have that really great like mixed reality gameplay capture experience. So now I'll teach you how to do exactly that. So go ahead, now go ahead and close, close that. The thing is, you want to enable ADB over Wi-Fi right here. So now currently it's off. Go ahead and hit enable. And you will say connect fail to connect. So go ahead, put the headset on. So in here, you can't really see my screen, but instead of hit the blue button allow, you're gonna, hit, you're gonna click 
always allow from this computer. Let the computer remember this is your computer. Let the headset remember this is your computer. And press it down. See what's going on. Still fail to connect. But, okay. So that is what tripped me off right here. And just keep telling me fail to connect, but let's go ahead and disconnect. Now this time, let's try again. Turn it on. Boom, it worked. So the trick is how to make it work is you have to click that always allow connect from this computer. Uh, only turn it on, you plug it, unplug it, and we connect that, then everything works. So now it's on, so let me show you. <laughs> I'm not like tripping you, right? I actually gotta disconnect this. Look, it's still active. You see my screen? Uh, everything's still on. Let's go ahead and turn on cast. Connecting, connecting. Let's hope it work. Boom, see, it's working. Now, let me just put the headset on. For you to go ahead and play some mix with ART experience in the camera still there. Okay, see, I hope you see what I'm seeing right there. And then go ahead and just room scale boundary. Oh, nope, I should redo that. Let's just do confirm, stationary boundary. Confirm. Great. So let me just go ahead and play some game for you. First, if you are not, if you do not turn on your path through home, make sure your path through home is turned on. Uh, I turn off my facial tracking right there just to save some power. But now, hopefully, you see my house right now. Uh, see, you see my house right now. But you see also see the Oculus menu. So go ahead and kill that. Let's go play some mixed reality. Uh, one of the mixed reality app I recently really love is. The world. I hope I pronounce it correctly. So hopefully you see this. Uh, you see other people right there. Um, they might hear me capturing, screen capturing. But I see the mixed reality capturing at the same time. Uh, uh, let me uh, actually I'll hand checking as well as you see. But I, I just might use my controller. Okay, let's go ahead and travel solo. Lovely. I have no idea where I am right now, but this is amazing. But what is even more, I think this is Barcelona. Yeah, I've been there, it's Barcelona. Oh my God, I should contribute on this photo right here. Yep, it's Barcelona. Uh. I need to figure out how to contribute to 60 photo for this app. Uh, but let me just get out. See, I get out. We're gonna hopefully you see what I'm seeing right now. You can, I can see my hand is really trippy. I should just stand up. Well, but then I'll be out of frame. You see my hand, Barcelona, but you also see my house. I literally bring the entire map in my house in Barcelona. I, I, I can pretty sure I can control it as well. See, I can zoom in and zoom out. Like playing the entire world, moving around the entire world in my house in mixed reality and you can't do that uh, well you can't capture that uh, well you can't obviously you can't do that in a quest 2 but also you can't capture that even in a quest pro unless you enable this so now you can really see everything this is kind of cool right okay hopefully you guys know now know how to enable screen capture screen recording in the mixed reality mode in the highest resolution. I actually have one more tip I wanna show you guys. Besides that, you can also record video directly. If you hit recording right here, you can record single eyes, both eyes. It's kinda of cool, right? You can have a very high quality record to 40 megabit per second. And also, pretty sure you can choose resolution as well. Let me just go back to single eyes. In single eye recording, you can choose resolution up to 4K 60 frames per second. 4K 60 frames. So this video right now is 4K 30 frames, but if you like, actually, I think all of the headset reviewers they, nowadays they shot in 60 frames per second. So if you want 4K 60 frames per second high resolution video, you can do that in 60 megabit per second. So meaning that your gameplay video gotta look super smooth and super high quality. 
without a cable connect to your Quest Pro and also capture mixed reality, which is pretty insane, right? So go ahead and just hit me call, you can capture that, you can also do the screenshot right here. Come on, one thing I want to show you, the casting, by the way, after you enable all this, you don't need to actually using this app at all. You can go inside MetaQuest, let me just go ahead and show you. So now if you go into recall right here, and again, I'm casting right now, so you can't really do that. But actually, let me stop the casting. So you can't really see my screen anymore, but I will just talk you through how to do it. You hit cast, and then right here, have allowed you to cast it on a computer using a web browser in oculus.com slash casting, and you can cast mixed reality, or you can actually just go on to your mobile app. I'll do that. Just go to MetaQuest mobile app. Let's go ahead and start casting. So hopefully you actually see what I'm seeing on my phone. But look at that. I also casting mixed reality mode directly onto the phone. So you can record straight on the phone. So you're a TikToker, Instagrammer, you just want to record on the phone, live stream on the phone, and how to live stream mixed reality. And you can simply just like, you know, cast this screen right here. Because you see and look around, I can actually see around my house and the game window right there. Okay, thank you for watching this tutorial to teach you how you can screen record a mixed reality gameplay in high 4K, 60 frames per second, super high quality with the MetaQuest Pro and your computer and also be able to enable casting straight to the phone to also do the same thing to catch a mixed reality mode so you can go live stream with. So if you are a content creator, that's how you do it to get the best quality through your phone, go live stream or through your laptop recording locally. So hopefully you learned something today and don't forget to follow this channel and hit the notification bell down there for daily or weekly MetaQuest Pro tips and tricks for you to be more productive with the Quest Pro. And I will see you guys next time or see you in the Metaverse. Bye.